Hey friends, this 55 minute Hit Fit Yoga series will level up your practice. It will help you build strength, endurance, and flexibility. Make sure you listen to your body, honor your body, show up where you're at, and be awesome. Come with the easy seated. Bringing the hands to the knees, palms facing down this morning. Begin to move through energy circles, inhaling across the lap. Exhale, get round. Inhale across the lap. Exhale, get round. Moving with breath. Noticing how your hips feel. I've been telling you guys, my hips do not lie. Over the last two months, I have noticed my hips, uh, more discomfort in my hips than I ever have. And I think for me, I hold a lot of emotion and memory in my hips. Um, so that's kind of where it presents itself. So maybe you share that. Maybe not. And then change direction. Inhaling across your lap. Exhale, get round. I wrote a post this morning about, we went on a family walk yesterday and I was talking about serotonin and how movement um, produces serotonin, which is a happy hormone. And it decreases cortisol, which is your stress hormone. And not a single person responded on my walk to, and this is my whole family. And I was sharing that I feel like I'm doing a lot of talking to my family, to my spouse, and I'm not being heard or listened to. But for me, it's important that they know this knowledge, so I'm just going to keep on spitting it out. So if you don't feel like you're being heard, um, but it's important to you, it, your voice matters. So just make sure you're getting it out there. They're absorbing it, whether they're a spouse who has selective hearing or children who don't want to respond. Um, keep sharing your message. So move from side to side, opening up the side body. I need my kids to know if they move their body, they can change their mind. So get outside and run a little. Opening up the side body. As you find it a little link, maybe dropping to the forearm, taking your flow a little deeper, keeping your sits bones rooted and grounded. Balancing out one more each side. Move with breath this morning. And returning back to the center, inhale, sweep the arms up. Imagine you're holding that block between your palms and take that twist over to the right. Drawing the right rib cage back, the left rib cage forward, draw your belly button in towards your spine, crown of the head towards the sky. Take a big breath in. Exhale, return back to the center, resetting, really grab that imaginary block. Take a big breath in. And then exhale, rot rotate over to the left, drawing that left rib cage back. Right rib cage forward, stay grounded, stay tall. Take a big breath in. And then exhale, return back to the center. Nice job. Bring the hands through heart center and then allow the palms to rest on the knees. Inhale, lift the chest, the heart for seated cow. Draw those shoulders away from the ears and then exhale, get round, tuck the chin round through the back for seated cow. One more cycle, inhaling with breath. Breathing with ease and then exhale. Taking that flow to all fours. Two cycles of cat cow. Inhale, lift the chest, the heart. Exhale, get round, tuck the chin, round through the back. Bringing awareness to how you feel this morning and honoring how you want to feel through your actions. And you are by showing up this morning for a virtual class. And then returning back to a neutral spine, keeping those toes tucked or tuck them if you don't have them tucked. Hollow out your core.
or imagine a soccer ball just hits you in the gut and hover your knees one inch over the earth. Add little pulses here. Fingertips are spread wide. Your head is in line with your spine. Imagine you're pressing the crown of your head forward, lengthening your spine as we pulse it out. For four, three, two, one. Lower those knees. Inhale, lift the chest, the heart for cow. And exhale, tuck the chin, round through the pelvis for cat. Returning back to that neutral spine, hollow off that core. Hover those knees one inch off the earth. Now we're going to open the knees and close. Open and close. You got it. Here's four, three, two, and one. Pause here. Now lift the knees to the right. Come through the center. Lift them to the left. Pause. Center. Right. Pause. Center. Left. Center. Right. Center. Left. Center, right, center, left. Now hover those knees over the earth and pulse it out. Your quad should be awake now and your core. Here's four, three, two, one. Lower those knees, take a cat cow. Inhale, breathe in what you need. And exhale, let go. Returning back to a neutral spine. Step those hands one print forward. Tuck the toes if the toes aren't tucked. And then shift the hips up and back for down dog. When you arrive, pedal it out. Move through your down dog. Draw those shoulders away from the ears. Bending through the knees. Sits bones towards the sky, broaden through your collarbones. Now really deep bend in that right knee, melt that left heel towards the earth, sits bones up. Take a big breath in and then take that to the other side. Deep bend in that left knee, right heel towards the earth. Now bring that left heel down to meet the right. These are down dog push-ups. <clears throat> Excuse me. Elbows come out. Crown of the head towards the earth. Down dog push-ups. Here we go. Drawing the crown of the head towards the earth for four, three, two. Now crown of the head towards the earth. We pulse for four, three, two. Now take it up. Let's go for one more set. Elbows are coming out, crown of the head towards the earth. Here we go. Four, three, two, hover, pulse. Four, three, two, up one. Nice job. Breathe forward, plank. Nice job, friends. That's hard. Let's jog that plank. Paddle through the feet and jog your plank. For four, three, to hold that plank, hips up, down dog. Breathe forward, plank. We're gonna hover in chaturanga. Hug those elbows right next to your rib cage, and then maybe you wanna rock forward and back. Maybe you just wanna hold that chaturanga. Here's four, three, two, and one. Full plank, that's so hard. Hips up, down dog, pedal it out. Nice job, friends. Breathe, right leg to sky, three-legged dog. Float that foot through, place it between your hands. Inhale, sweep the arms up, crescent lunge. Take a big breath. Exhale, paint the hands far, frame out that foot. Right leg comes back, three-legged dog. Let's flow that. Crescent lunge, take a breath. And three-legged dog. Take a breath. Move with your breath. It's okay if we're not going together. Keep breathing. Keep moving. We're all going to meet in crescent lines. 
lunge. Take your time. No rush. And then lower the back knee. Here's four. Breathe. Three. Two. And one. Take flight. Now you're three. Tiny squats for four. Three. Two. One. Lift the back leg. Squeeze the glute. Four. Three. Two. One. Heel to glute. Hamstring curl. Four. Three. Two. One, reach your arms out, hug the elbows and tap the knees. Four, warrior three, three, two, and one. Warrior three, step back, crescent lunge. Let's go again, drop the knee. Four, rise, three, tuck your pelvis. Two, and one, take flight, tiny squats in warrior three. Four, three, Two, one, lift your heel, squeeze your glute. Four, three, two, one, heel to glute, hamstring curl. Four, three, two, one, reach your arms up, hug the knee in, hug the elbows in. Four, three, two, one, step it back, crescent lunge. We have one more set. Here we go. Drop the knee. Four, rise. Three, Two, and one, take flight, tiny squats. Four, three, two, one, lift your back heel, squeeze your glute. Four, three, two, one, heel to glute, hamstring curl. Four, three, two, one, reach the arms, tap knees, hug elbows. Four, three, two, and one, crescent lunge, take a breath at the top. Exhale, paint the hands forward, frame out the foot. Right leg comes back to meet the left. You are in down dog, pedal it out. Stretch out that right glute. Maybe here in down dog, set an intention for your practice as well as your day today. Who do you want to show up as? How do you want to feel? What do you want to experience? You can choose your attitude and mindset right here, right now, and seal it in for the day. Breathe, left leg to sky, three-legged dog. Float that foot through. Rise up, crescent lunge, take a breath. Exhale, paint the hands far, frame out the foot. Left leg to sky, three-legged dog. Let's flow it. Crescent lunge. Find strength. And downward dog, or three-legged dog. Find length. You got it. Keep breathing. Keep moving. One more. Three-legged dog. And then pausing in crescent lunge. Left leg leads. And then drop the back knee. Here we go. Four. Three. Two. And one. Take flight. Warrior three. Tiny squats. Four. Three. Two. One. Lift the heel. Squeeze the glute. Four. Three, two, one, heel to glute, hamstring curl. Four, three, two, one, reach the arms out, hug elbows and tap knees. Four, three, two, one, step back, crescent lunge, take a breath, lower the knee. Here's four, rise, three, breathe, two, Last one, take flight. Warrior three, tiny squats, bend that left knee. Dial the right hip down, here's three, two, one, lift the heel, squeeze the glute. Four, three, two, one, heel to glute, hamstring curl. Four, three, two, one, reach the arms out, hug elbows in, tap knees. Four, three, Two, one, step it back. We've got one more set. Lower the knee, four, rise, three, two, and one. Take flight, tiny squats, four, 
One, heel to glute, hamstring curl. Four, three, two, one. Reach the arms out, hug the elbows in, tap the knees. Four, three, two, one. Step it back, holy moly, your left glute. Take a breath. Exhale, hinge forward, frame out that foot. Left leg comes back to meet the right. Down dog. Paddle it out. Wag your tail. Stretch out the glutes. And breathe. Walking the hands back to meet your feet. If you've got weights, you can grab them. We're going to roll up slowly and go right into butt kicks. Weights are always optional. They're not necessary. Elevate that heart rate a little bit more. High knees. Butt kick. We've got four, level it up, three, little higher, two, and last one. Woo. Walk it out. I'm going to frame out my mat with my weights. If you want to use them, go ahead and do the same. Grab a drink, towel off, and then meet me at the top of your mat. Inhale, reverse swan dive, open the chest, the heart. Exhale, swan dive to earth. Fingertips to shins, half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, roll up one vertebra at a time. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, swan dive to earth. Fingertips to shins, half lift. Exhale, fold. Seal the hands on the earth. Step back. Plank. Let's activate that plank this morning. Scrub those thumbs towards one another. Pinkies pressing into the earth. Lengthen your spine. Draw the crown of your head forward. Press your heels back. Draw that pubic bone up towards your navel. Hip bone to hip bone connection. Squeeze your glutes. Squeeze your quads. Everything is active. Breathe. This is where we want to hold our breath, but our breath is our power, so breathe for me, please. Hips up, down, dog. Breathe, right leg to sky. Lift your heel, squeeze your glute. Four, three, two, one. Float that foot through, place it between your hands. Left hand stays on the earth. Reach that right hand long. Now we're going to coil up and take it back. So my right hand's tapping my left ankle. Bring it up, take it back. You got it. Once you get the coordination here of the movement, pick up your pace. 
up warrior two. Nice. Hold on, my pants. Bring them up. Now we're going to bring them out to a T. Add our arm circles. Check out your alignment in warrior two. Stack that right knee over that right ankle or it's slightly behind the ankle. The weight in the front foot's in the pinky toe. Weight in the back foot's in the big toe. Change direction. Our shoulders are stacked right over our hips. Tuck the pelvis. Engage that belly. Change direction. Change direction. One more time, change direction. Nice. Now bring those wings back to heart center. Peel open that left foot. Meet me in goddess. Now tiny pulses down. Small little pulses. We've got four, three, two, one. Now we're gonna punch. So I'm punching with my right, pivoting my right foot. Bring it back to the center. Punch with the left, pivot the left foot. Got it, squat in the center, you got it. Lengthen, squat, lengthen. Take it down as far as you can, that got it, squat, boom. Lengthen, boom, lengthen. You got to keep going. Breathe. Take it down as low as you can for four, three, two, one. You need that guy to squat, pulse it out. See if you can lift your toes, chest and heart are stacked. So our shoulders are stacked over those hips. Tiny pulses down for four, three, two, one. Got it, squat. Now pivot that left foot and then we're taking the left knee down. You got it, got it, squat, pivot the right knee, take it down. Got it, squat, pivot the left foot, take it down. So you're in your crescent lunge. Whew, keep going. Got it, squat, pivot, lower. Got it, squat, pivot, lower. Your quad should be on fire. Woo, my arm. Whoa! They're jello over here. One more each side. Meet me in the middle. Pulse it out. If you want, take it up on the toes. Pulse it down. For four, three, two, hold. Sit it down a little lower, lift the heels a little higher. Four, three, two, one, star, lower the heels, lift the arms, whoa. Now warrior two, left leg leads. Tiny circles. Breathe. Change direction. Change direction. Change direction. One more time. Change direction. Now bring those weights to heart center. The left leg's gonna be leading now, so you're gonna pivot that right foot. You're gonna hinge forward, set down those weights. We're in that deep runner's lunge. Left leg is leading. Nice. Keep that right hand exactly where it is. Lengthen your left leg long. Right back to those little Shiva squats. Here we go. Hug it in. My left fingers are touching my right toes. Pick up the pace once you've got the coordination. We've got four, three, two, one. Nice job. We're in that deep runner's lunge. Inhale, sweep your arms up. Crescent lunge. Take a breath. Exhale, bring that right foot up to meet the left. Nice job. Tap as the arms are filled, go the arms, open your chest, your heart to the sky. Inhale, arms to sky. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold, so your hands on the earth, step back, plank. Hips up, 
down dog. Right back to those dolphin push or dolphin. Right back to the down dog push up. Elbows out, crown of the head towards the sky or towards the earth. Here we go. Down dog push ups. Four, three, two, one. Now we're going into those dolphin push ups. So forearms come towards the earth, maybe both at the same time or one at a time. Your choice. Tap the forearms down, bring them up. Down, bring them up. You got it. Four, three, two, maybe a dolphin. Both forearms are down. Hold here. Breathe. The head is off the earth, it's hovering. Now draw those knees towards the earth, they're hovering. Press through the legs and the palms, coming into plank. Hips up, down dog. Forearms down dolphin. Hover those knees, press through the legs and the palms, shoot forward, plank, nice. Hips up, down dog. Dolphin, hover your knees, press forward, plank. One more time, down dog. Dolphin, hover the knees, plank. Ooh, see how that left hand on the earth, the right hand comes to sky or on side plank. Lift those hips high. You have the option to drop that left knee. Reach that right hand overhead. Inhale, knee to elbow, crunch it up. Crunch, oblique, side body. Make sure that left shoulder stacked over that left wrist for four, three, Two, and one. Nice job, meet me back in full plank. Seal, right hand on earth, left hand to sky. You have the option to drop that right leg. Reach that left arm overhead, knee to elbow. Crunch, crunch. You got it, four, three, two, one. Full plank, nice job. Shift forward, shoulders slightly over wrist. Hover and chaturanga. Chaturanga rocks. Rock from your toes. Breathe here. For four, three, two, one. Full plank. Hips up, down dog. Walk those hands back to meet the feet. If you want to grab your weights, you can bring them up with you. As we go into jumping jacks. Here we go. Guys, it's so hot in here. I am dripping with sweat. Woo! Your version of a jumping jack this morning. You can eliminate all your hops. We can be here. Show up where you're at. It's good enough. Let's move. Woo! So our bodies, I'll tell you guys, I've got your attention. Our body's producing that serotonin, that's the happy hormone. That's what movement does. That's why I do this. Let's go. Now jump rope. Movement makes me feel good. It's not a weight, it's not a pant size, it's purely energy. It makes me feel good. Your why may be different, but know your why. And your why has to matter. Because when your why matters, you keep showing up. This is a habit. Here we go. Jumping jacks. Jump rope. Now we booty shake it out. We've got four, level it up. Three, a little higher. Two, and one, walk it out. All right, friends, how are you guys doing? Everyone okay? Let's get a drink. I always say this, but my coffee does not taste nearly as good, good as it did before class. I'm looking at my sweat on the floor. It's impressive. Okay, we're gonna move with the arms, and then we're 
we're gonna do some glute work. Then we're gonna finish with core. Feet are shoulder width apart or a little bit wider. Bring it up to a V and pause. So let's go ahead, since we're here, since we've shown up, let's activate the belly too by drawing that pubic bone towards the navel, shortening the abdominals, contracting them. Here we go. Lift, lower. Take out the gravity, the momentum. Let your muscles do the work. Here's four, three, two. We're gonna hold it at the top. Draw the weights towards one another. Now pull right. Keep the right elbow in line. Pull. 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 For four, three, two, and one. Now left. Elbow stays in line. Pull. The elbow starts dropping. Lose your weights. Here we go. Four, three, two, one. Both arms back. Right up to shoulder presses. Then field goal those arms. Take it up and field goal. Slow it down. The slower you go, the harder it is. Here's four. Three. Did you lose your belly? Notice I did. Here's two. Now pulse. Re-engage that belly. Here's four. Three. Two. And pause. Now draw those elbows towards one another. And then open up. Keep those arms at 90 degrees. Draw them in. Open them up. Draw them in. Open them up. You've got four. Breathe. Three. Breathe. Two. And hold them together now. Small pulses up. One inch. Up and down. Small little movement. Notice the belly. Here's four. Three. Two. One. Chair. Going right into triceps. Tuck the pelvis, lower the hips. Weight is in your heels. Full extension of the arms. Squeeze the triceps. Being mindful of what we're working is gonna give you better results. Because what we focus on, we get more of. So if we focus on that tricep, we're gonna contract that muscle. Extension and flexion, we got this lift. Hug for four, three, two, full extension, tiny pulses up. We've got eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Take it up. Nice job. Let's bring those weights, hug it in to the rib cage. I'm going to bring my left foot behind. I'm going to go in just to a nice little double leg squat. Hop, bringing those weights out, drawing them in. I'm not hovering my knee all the way down, just a small little movement. You can stand grounded as well. Draw them out, pull them in. Draw them out, pull them in. Now I'm gonna open them up. Out, draw them in. Out, draw them in. You got it. Keep going. Here's four, three, two, one, bring that right foot up to meet the left. Bring those right toes back. Hug those elbows in. Draw those arms out. Hug them back in. My right knee is going towards the earth. Here's four, three, two, one. Now I'm gonna bring those arms out to a V. Reach those weights out. Draw them in. Elbows go away from the rib cage. Then I hug them back in. For four, three, two, one. Nice job. Bring that right foot up to meet the left. Set your weights off to the side. Get a drink towel off. We are going to meet in warrior three. Right leg is going to lead. Begin to shift forward. I'm going to have my hands at heart center this morning. We're gonna go right into warrior three squats. Bend that right knee. Dial this left hip down. 
Warrior three squats. For four, three, two, and one. Shiva's, my hands are at heart center. Left knee comes behind right. Warrior three. Shiva squats. We've got four more. Here's four. Three. Two. Now you're going to meet me in that Shiva. We're tucked here. Now lower those left toes. Lift your chest and heart. So shoulders are stacked here. Bring this right hand to your right hip. Left elbow is going to come towards that right knee. You got it. Curtsy squats. Draw that left knee down. Keep going. You've got four, three, two, and stay low, pulse it. Four, three, two, one. Just for fun, let's go back to warrior three. Why not? Hands at heart center. Now lift that heel towards the sky. You got this. Here is four, three, two, and one. Now come up, bring that left foot behind the right. So our legs are crossed. Inhale, arms to sky. Exhale, hands through heart center, forward fold. Bend those knees on the way down for me, friends. Stretch out that IT band. Bend those knees as much as you need to. And if the muscles are feeling warm, straighten those knees. Lift your sits bones towards the sky. Crown of the head towards the earth. Breathe. Now bend in the knees. Let's roll up one vertebra at a time. Nice. And then unfold the legs. Nice job. We gotta take that to the other side. So let's ground that left foot. Begin to hinge at the hips, coming into warrior three. Dial this right hip down. Squats. I've got my hands at heart center. You can put them out to the side or forward. Bend that left knee, warrior three squats. You've got four, three, two, one. Shiva, right knee comes behind left. Drop those hips as low as you can. Back to warrior three. Four more. Shiva. Warrior three. Three more. Shiva. Warrior three. Two more. Shiva. Warrior three. Now meet me in that Shiva. Stay tucked. Right toes touch the earth. Lift the chest. My shoulders are now stacked over my hips. Bring this left hip. Left hand to your left hip. Now take it down, curtsy, squats, right elbow, left knee. You're drawing that right knee towards the earth. Here we go. Here is four, three, two, elbow to knee, pulse it out. Four, three, two, one, right back to warrior three. Lift that right heel, squeeze the glute. For four, three, two, one. Bring that right foot behind the left. Crossing the feet. Inhale, arms to sky. Exhale, hands through heart center, forward fold. Bend your knees, shift your hips back on the descent on the way down. Forward fold. Stretch out that IT band. Bend the knees as much as you need to. And then as you create space, lengthen your knees. Get those sits bones towards the sky. Notice how you feel. And then bending the knees, let's roll up one vertebra at a time. Nice. And then unstack. Nice job. Get a drink towel off. Meet me at the top of our mats, and then we're going to start traveling down. Inhale, reverse swan dive. Open the chest, the heart. Exhale, swan dive to earth. Bend the knees, shift your hips back. Fingertips to shins, half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, roll up one vertebra at a time. Reach the arms to the sky. 
side, gentle back bend. And then exhale, swan dive to earth, bend the knees, shift those hips back. Fingertips to shins, half lift. And then exhale, fold. Feel the hands on the earth, step back. You're in your plank. Knees high, knees low. Listen to your body this morning. And breathe. Hips up, down dog. Breathe, right leg to sky, three-legged dog. Shift forward, right knee, right tricep. Four little presses here, just hold your choice. Here's four, three, two, and one, three-legged dog. Stay here, take a three-legged vinyasa. You can add a couple extra presses if you like. Up dog or baby cobra, show up where you're at. And then take it back to down dog. When you arrive, pedal it out. Coming back to Adamukha Shavasana, downward dog. Your centering posture. Breathe, left leg to sky, three-legged dog. Breathe forward, left knee, left tricep. Hold here, add some presses. Here's four, three, two, one, three-legged dog. Stay here or take a three-legged vinyasa. Maybe add some presses at the top. Up dog, baby cobra. Your flow. And then take it back to down dog when you're ready. And then we're going to come around to seated. Woo, friends. All right. Uh-oh. Hold on. I know you can see me, but I'm going to press something here. There we go. Okay. Let's finish with core. How's everyone feeling? Feeling good? So, I'll face you. Hands behind. Drawing those shoulders back. We're going to lift that right foot. We're going to just start by lifting and lowering. Lift and lower. Right leg is long. We've got four, three, two, hold it at the top. We're going to open and close, open and close. Hip flexor, four, three, two, and one. Now we're going to draw in and out. So we're rocking forward and back. Draw the knee in towards the chest. Take up space. Here's four, three, two, and one, let's take that to the other side. Left leg long. Lift and lower that left foot. Lift and lower. See if you can get the left knee in line with the right. For four, three, two, hold it at the top. Open and close. Open and close. Here's four, three, two, last one. Now draw the knee in, shift the torso forward. Shift it back. Bring it in, lengthen. For four, three, two, and one. Lower those left toes. Now you're gonna bring it down to your forearms. So my palms and my forearms are both on the earth. I'm gonna lengthen my legs out, and I'm gonna swim. Flutters, just like Pilates 100s. We're gonna flutter. Now we're gonna scissor. Scissor those legs up, and then scissor those legs down. Scissor those legs up and down, you got it. Take them up and bring them down. Now flutters, flutter those feet. They're hovering right over the earth. Tuck the pelvis for four, three, two, and one. Nice job, now we're gonna take it to our side. I am on my right side. We're going to go right in to mermaid presses. So my right glute's on the earth. I'm going to bring my toes up and my arm up. I've got my right shoulder stacked over my right wrist. Only my right hip is grounded right now. My left hip is not. Mermaid crunches, getting into the obliques. 
You got it. Now we can bend the knees and straighten it out. I'm tapping elbow to knee. And then you can combo that toes, elbow to knee. Toes to hand, elbow to knee. Toes to hand, elbow to knee. Keep going. You got this. Combo it up. Layer it up. Burn it out at the end. One more. Nice. So we have to take that to the other side. So first thing, stack that left shoulder over that left um, elbow. That's your elbow. My left hip is on the earth. Here we go. Tap toes to fingers. Maybe they don't connect. It's all good. Now we're going to bend knees. Knee to elbow. Straighten out. Hand to toes. Combo it up. Knee to elbow. Lengthen. Toes to hands. You got it. Keep going. Mermaid crunches. We've got four more. Stay strong. Here's three. Use that breath. Here's two. Here's one. Nice job. All right, take it all the way to your back. Walk those heels towards your glutes. We're going to work the, the uh, booty with some bridge lifts. Walk those heels in. Make sure you can brush your heels with your fingertips. Go ahead and lift the pelvis, the glutes, squeeze everything at the top, lower down on vertebra. Tuck the pelvis, roll it all the way up, squeeze the glutes and hips, lower down. Inhale, bring it up. Exhale, lower down. I want you to imagine that you're squeezing a block between your thighs, keeping your femurs internally rotated. You got it, keep going. Roll it up, squeeze, and roll it down. Now roll it up, meet me at the top. Lift those heels off the earth, take it up a little higher, and pulse up. So hip bones coming towards the side. Each time you pulse up, you're squeezing the glutes, you're squeezing the hips. You got this, tuck the chin slightly towards the chest. Here we go. For four, three, Two and hold. Just hold it at the top for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now lower your heels. Stand your right foot on the sky. Tiny little lifts. Bridge lifts. Like you're tapping the ceiling with your toes. Here you go. Hamstrings probably on fire. Here's four, three, two, one. Right foot to the earth. Latch foot to the sky. Hips, glutes are not on the earth. Lift it up. Bridge lifts. Tiny pulses up. Four, three, two, one. Left foot on the earth. And then roll down. Nice job. Let's come into Baddha reclined. Soles of the feet are together. Draw the knees towards the earth. Maybe rock from side to side. You can cactus your arms here. Adding the chest heart opener. Coming back to the breath. Again to slow down. Closing the knees like a book. Cross your right knee all the way over the left as if you were sitting cross-legged. Hug the knees into the chest. Reach for the feet. If you're looking at a clock, so they're at three and nine. Now hug those legs into your body. You can lift the head, neck, and shoulders here or keep them grounded. Feeling the stretch through the glutes, the hips. Maybe you want to rock from right to left. That feels good to your body. And then we take that to the other side. Cross the left knee over the right. Hug the knees in. Reach for your feet. Hug them in towards the body. 
Noticing if one side feels tighter than the other. Take it to your edge, but honor where you're at. It's okay to feel discomfort. It's not okay to feel pain. Maybe move from right to left. Hugging the knees back into the chest. We open up into happy baby. Maybe peace fingers or big toes or grab the outside edge of your feet. You're welcome to add movement here. Maybe sway from side to side. Maybe extend the legs long. And then hug the knees back into the chest as you rock and roll up till we meet an easy seated. Hands on the knees, we inhale across the lap, we exhale, get round. Moving through our energy circles, choosing that attitude, the energy, the mindset for today as you step off your mat. And then know if you fall off the wagon, you can always reset and then change direction. Remember the power of your breath. Remember to take that deep breath before we react to life so we're better able to respond to that colleague, to that spouse, to that toddler or teenager. God bless all of us. And then return back to the center. Bring those arms up to a T. Inhale, lift your chest, your heart, breathe in what you need. Exhale, get round, let go. Inhale, breathe it in. And then let go. One more time, breathe it in. And then let go of what doesn't serve you. Leave it here. Inhale, sweep your arms to the sky. Exhale, guide your hands to heart center. Thank you so much for honoring your body, nourishing your mind, loving yourself first, and sharing this practice with me this morning. May the light within me shine greatly within each one of you. Much love and gratitude. Stay well, my friends. Namaste. Hey friends, as a mom of four, I realize how important it is that I move my body every single day to have the energy I need to be the best version of myself. So movement at homes makes it possible. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and share my YouTube channel, as well as follow me on social media at Megan's Yoga Tribe. Much love, gratitude, namaste.